colleagues here. You may have seen in a couple of my videos my uh, silencer end cap flying off my rifle. Huh? Gone. I see it. Right by the right target. Right so I sent in the silencer to Silencer Co. and uh, they did a warranty on it. So just got it today. I think it was about a week turnaround. But uh, I was going to show you what I got. So. As usual, they sent me a new box. So that's the box it comes in. Superior Silence. Have 528 flash hider to replace mine because I couldn't even get mine off the actual can. Also got a half by 28 by half by 28 adapter. anything in here. Nope. Just a silver box. That didn't come with it. I mean, it came with it originally, but I had that. They sent me a, a new little bag, which is nice. Embroidered. And since I couldn't get the flash original flash hider off the mad mount, I got a new mad mount and a new uh, standoff end cap. They really did a really great job finishing it. This finish is a lot better than what it came with originally. Now you see a little bit marring here. You see they do. It looks real nice in there. That's for me trying to work it because apparently now they actually make these a lot harder. So now it's fully closed. I can't unseat it. So I spent quite a bit of time earlier and I finally called them. Was like, hey, what's going on here? I spoke with Tyler, and he told me to do this. Oops. Since this fits in there, let's find that the right way. Opens it right up. Now this won't be much of an issue once you have your flash hider or muzzle brake mounted. It's locked. Unlocked. Still pretty easy. The only issue I see is if by accident I do this. Then can't get it off. And obviously this guy will be mounted. So I don't want to be taking him on and off. So I figured out this guy would be another way. So with this actual tool, you can do it. Just stick two of the prongs in there. Pops right open. Or you can just use the bottom and open it up. 
So it isn't as uh, easy as it used to be. So this is supposedly how all the new mad mounts are going to be for the trifecta. Pretty stiff. Let me show you what it looks like in here now. So from in the picture I'm gonna about to show you, you can tell there's a difference. Since the threads were all just basically eaten away when the end cap came off, they had to cut my can about half an inch. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna affect this the sound quality just a little bit, not too much, because they also offer the the Saker K, which is about a, almost an inch shorter than this right now here. So, or maybe maybe three quarters of an inch shorter than this in its current state. But it looks really nice, really nice finish. Except all the little marring I did there. But if you leave it open, you shouldn't be have any problems. It looks like it's actually reinforced right in here but you'll you'll be able to see from the other picture so I like to thank Silencer Co again Here you go guys, y'all yeah. said I've been neglecting my my piggy duties. What's all, what's all the what's what's all this about? What's all the drama about? I put y'all on YouTube and y'all just start making a ruckus. Y'all wanna see a big pig? So you know, I don't blind them. That's a big pig. Look at that. That's little Jed right there. That's a massive pig. Look at that. See how what that is? She used to have a real nice figure until she had those babies. <laughs>